In this video, we demonstrate our algorithm for navigation-driven approximate convex decomposition. We'll do so in the context of a game scene. Our goal is to generate collision shapes for these meshes that are appropriate for our demo character to be able to jump and walk around on. Let's start by generating collision for this balcony. Our tolerance parameter specifies our accuracy requirements, or how far the characters can be from the actual geometry and still potentially collide with it. And our radius parameter specifies the expected size of our characters, allowing us to ignore details that the characters are too large to reach. Our demo character is represented by this capsule collider, which has a radius of 40 centimeters. So let's try generating with that radius. Looks like our tolerance was pretty high, so the algorithm was allowed to cut off a corner inside the balcony. Let's tune that down to 10 centimeters and try again. Note that if we had a much larger character but the same tolerance, we could represent this balcony with fewer shapes. Once we have parameters we like, we can apply them to the other shapes and expect similar results. Next, let's consider this large cliff face. Note we capture a lot of detail near the top of the cliff face, but we happen to know our demo character can't jump or climb that high. We can customize our navigable space with a blocking function, see section 3.3 in the paper, to let our method know it doesn't need to worry about our character navigating above a certain height. Looks like that cut down the number of convex hulls by a factor of four, while still keeping similar collision. We now show a few more examples of how these same parameters can generate navigable collision for different shapes. We now demonstrate our collision shape merging algorithm on these meshes, which already have collision shapes, including spheres, boxes, and convex hulls. After we arrange these meshes in a scene, we can merge their collision shapes to generate a simpler representation, and we can adjust our tolerance parameter to simplify even further.